I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Hope you guys are well, inshallah. Uh, so, we had a sister, I forgot your name, sister. What's your name? Jasmine. Sister Jasmine, yeah? Okay, Sister Jasmine came to the park, if I'm not mistaken, last year, and we had a discussion about a doubt that you had. So, she, she wanted to share a story that at one moment, I think you was doubting Islam. Yeah? So, we just want to know, for example, because as the people, as the brothers in the dawah, we really want to know, for example, as youngsters, what you're going through, what's causing you to have doubts, what's led to it, yeah? So inshallah, and um, Sister Jasmine, tell us a bit about your journey to Islam. When did you start kind of practicing or start practicing? Um, just tell us a bit about it. So, um, growing up, I didn't have the, I didn't have as much knowledge. I was more growing up on culture, basically. Culture? Yeah, more basically growing up on culture. more. So I started looking at um, YouTube videos, yours, to be honest. I started looking at yours and then I started getting it getting into it and then I decided to take Shahada again because I realised I wasn't taking it seriously so I thought was it? it was around like it was kind of, it was kinda of after me and you had that talk oh, kind okay, of okay, so okay. it was after me and you had that talk. So after so me and you had that talk. You, 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 wasn't, like, you had doubts about Islam. Yeah. Okay. So that happened and then I started actually doing the research rather than be ignorant. Because what I used to do yeah, I used to look at the Christians, I used to think, oh you know what? They have a little bit of a point and stuff like that, but then I realised it makes no logical sense. Yeah. So I came to that conclusion. So I had a lot of doubts. I used to see, like, obviously no names, but like people backbiting here and there in the park, and it made me think, okay, so if backbiting is not allowed, why are you able to do it yourself? So you saw in a conflict within the park. Yeah, and it made me, it made me think. So if this is what Islam is about, because the thing is, the Christians, the reason why they don't confront each other is because they. They all just don't care about the the book. The book is already like gone. It's already written by so many people. They don't care. But with us, we took it seriously. So when I saw the conflict, it made me want to leave Islam because it made me think if this is what it's about, and, I don't and want to be part of it. Are you talking about Muslims sometimes fighting each other? Because you have, or are you talking about individuals who come to this park, like myself? Mohammed, you, you know Jaya. what? You know what? Both, both, both. So both. both. Yeah. Because when I see both Muslims confronting each other, whether even if they're Shia or Sunni. It's one thing to debate, but it's another thing to fight. Like, you know, there was this one video. I, I know it's been happened years ago. Yes. What's his name? Um, I, I don't want to say names. The a Shia got chased by so many oh, Sunni yeah, boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I saw that, it made me want to leave Islam. Because like, how could you get chased because you're a different sect? I know, okay, look. Yeah. I know some things might not be the best, like, yeah. views or whatnot. But it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not good to do that, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, when I saw that, it just made me think, don't want to be a part of it. So, so other stuff, like for example, you mentioned something. You mentioned something um, specific, yeah. So you said there were certain things that led to that. So you've seen Muslims fighting each other, etc. Uh, and you you mentioned a specific person, which I'm not going to name, um, that you said his back backbiting was something that, yeah, yeah. And we're talking like this. And remember, I gave you the example about Brother Esau, may Allah have mercy on him, who died, yeah, who passed away. Uh, and this is the very same brother that I, I was so, so enraged and angry about because Brother Esau, he was somebody who came to the park and he was someone who was a, I would say, the finest example. You know Brother Esau? Yeah? Yeah. His smile, his character, his behavior, his akhlaq, his adab in this park was unmatched. And this park is not the same without him. I'll be very honest with you. It's not the same without him. And subhanAllah, this brother that you was talking about as well, to backbite him, somebody who has passed away, that really annoyed me, that really hurt me, yeah? So sometimes, like, I don't want that conflict to happen. I'll be honest with you, these conflicts, I don't want to happen. That's why I never, ever, uh, I avoided, uh, that brother had problems with us for a long time, yeah? And I tried to avoid it, you know why? Because I don't want youngsters to be watching that and be like, oh, look at these guys fighting each other. Because Yakin Institute in America done a study, done a research, and they found out that one of the main reasons why a lot of Muslims leave Islam is because into conflict in a conflict and that is a fine example when you came to me today and said brother Ali you know what so those are the things I saw in the park and you mentioned this brother which I said don't mention his name that's that's sad because let alone you as a Muslim brother Isa's family they got in contact with me and they were so angry like 
you didn't have nothing good to say about Brother Esau. Someone like Esau, look, if it was me, I'll say, you know what, sometimes I'm controversial, sometimes I do things that upset people. But to come and pick on Brother Esau, sorry about him, people, someone like Brother Esau, and somebody who's just passed away, for you to come and yani, make him look like he's someone bad, oh, Allah Mustan, don't watch his video, etc. How did you feel when he, did you see that video, by the way? How did you feel when, when you saw some a believer, a Muslim, justifying, backbiting a believer? To be honest, from the videos I saw, I never saw a single thing he said that wrong. I never, my honest, he didn't do it. Yeah, I never did. I didn't see anything wrong. Like, if he if he was like a, a fight or something in the park, I'd understand, but he didn't do anything. Like, obviously he had a sweet personality, that's what I saw personally. Yeah. I feel like you have every right to feel the way you felt because I would feel the same. I was upset. Yeah, yeah, I, I was upset because the thing is, the, sorry, the thing is, I'm thinking, what did the guy do? And we found out later, which is what Allah is so profound. Dawood had a interview with him um, before, yeah. And we found, and subhanAllah, it's as if he was speaking from the dead. Wallah, it's as if this interview came out later. It was recorded a long time ago, but once he passed away, Dawood told me about it. May Allah have mercy on him, yeah? Dawood told me. And in that video, he left this group. Yeah, this group who comes here, and everyone's in the park, yeah? Brother Mansur, Brother Hashim, Muhammad Hijab, Adnan Rashid, all of us in the park, we go and eat together. We talk together. We move together. And even if we say we're not going to talk to somebody, we don't talk to that person together. The only person that doesn't come and join us is this group in the park. You'll even see them moving around in groups, yeah? And we're thinking, subhanAllah, Allah says in the Quran to be merciful to the Muslims. Yani towards each other, be merciful. Why? But that's the thing is, why? Now, let me tell you something, sister, yeah? Some people are going to come and say, oh, you're planted. Did I tell you to come here? Did I tell you to come and approach me? I, I approached you. Okay, taken off by Allah, if this is because I know, let me tell you some people are gonna think that I probably staged this. I swear upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah deal with me if I ask you to come. Did I ask you to come? Wallah, wallah. Tell us what happened. So I approached Ali. Wallahi I approached Ali because I, I mentioned I came here for the same reason. I just wanted to see what's going on, but I saw a lot of things, so I just went to ask Ali about it. And I, I just told him that I felt really upset that there was a lot of conflict from this, not, not trying to be rude, this couple of people. So I wanted to address it and see why, why? Because I wanted to know whether it's from your sect or is it from his sect. I don't even know the sex that you guys are on about, so I just wanted to see which one it was. Exactly. exactly. And that's why so the people who are watching this, brothers and sisters, Wallahi, sometimes when there's conflict with other Muslims, we avoid it. We try our best because you know why? We know our youngsters who are watching this, like this sister, she was on the verge of leaving Islam. Yeah? She was on the verge, or she may have, uh, have done that. Why? Because unnecessary conflict. Yeah, Aki, oh, you don't take from my teacher. Yeah, Aki, what is wrong with you? Who is this teacher? Who is this teacher? It's, it's, it's someone, yeah? The point is this. Yani, the issue is this, that arrogance. Arrogance, because shaitan's fall, everybody talks about this, yeah? Do you know shaitan was a worshiper of Allah? He was, and, you, and then he said, You know he was a very righteous. So much so, Allah says in the Quran, when we ask the angels to prostrate, all of them prostrate except Iblis. Iblis is not an angel. He was at the ranks of the angels. Arrogance, arrogance, arrogance. The way when we move, if I move around like I'm an arrogant person, self-righteous, oh, Aki, this guy's misguided, he's misguided, he's misguided. Oh, mashallah, brother, Allah made Jannah just for you. Wow, bravo. So Allah made the whole Jannah for you and your buddies and your homies. And the reason why I'm so angry for the sake of Allah is because we see you're the one you came with your own mafia off camera and said certain Muslims caused me to nearly leave Islam or le I left Islam. And that's a burden upon us when we fight with each other for silly petty stuff. Oh, bruv, you're not from my clique. Well, bun you and your clique. Bun you and your clique. Who gives a damn about your clique? Just because oh, oh, we're Salafi, we're this, we're that. So many youth, and this is evidence, brothers and sisters, Yakin Institute carried out a study that shows Muslim youth leave Islam just like the sister. Why? Because inter-conflict, unnecessary conflict. So we ask people who are watching there, inshallah, and you're a Muslim now. May Allah bless you, sister. Eid Mubarak, inshallah. I hope your Eid is going well. We ask Allah to keep you firm. Yeah, and wallahi with this attitude of arrogance. And one thing that as Muslims we do is we look at someone's outer appearance. Oh, he wears a hijab, niqab, look at his beard and foam. Yeah, okay, okay, good, that's good, don't get it twisted. How many, how many people would look at this sister, oh, she doesn't wear a hijab, oh, astaghfirullah. Yeah, okay. yes, the hijab, you know it's fard on you, yeah? And you're working on it. 
But to come and demonize her, oh, she's like this. Okay, I'm so sorry. I've seen a lot of hijabis that do a lot of wrong stuff. And I've seen a lot of sisters who don't wear the hijab but praise Allah. The point is this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and Surah Baqarah, Wallahi, I love these verses. Allah says, when you slaughter an animal, yeah, we're in this Eid, yeah? When you slaughter an animal, it's not the blood or the flesh that reaches Allah, but it is the taqwa. So what's Allah trying to tell you? Allah is telling you, when you sacrifice an animal, it is not the blood nor the flesh that reaches Allah. It is the taqwa. Allah says in the Quran that he has given us garments, clothing to hide our shame. Allah says the taqwa, the clothing of taqwa is more beloved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, facing east or west is not righteousness, brother. Don't think, oh, I face the Kaaba, so righteous. Allah saying facing the east or the west is not righteousness. And lastly, I'll finish off this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when the Munafikun were building a masjid, yeah, Masjid Dirar. When they were building that masjid to plot against the Muslims, Allah says it is more deserving that you worship in the masjid of taqwa. From the clothes that you wear, to the animal that you sacrifice, to the direction that you face, to the masjid that you're in. Taqwa, 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 taqwa. But what do we do? Oh, that person, he's got a beard. He must be so righteous. He's done a video with 100 books behind him. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Brothers and sisters, let's look at the inner dynamics of someone and let's not judge people and avoid these petty conflicts that cause our youngsters, our youth, our sisters, our brothers to leave Islam. Is there any last words you would like to say? Sister? Sorry, I went on a bail. I'm really passionate. Is there anything you would like to say? No, I don't really have anything to say. Okay. May Allah bless you, sister, inshallah. If you have any doubts, if there's anything that you want to ask, we're well, here as your brothers. We're here, inshallah, to help you, inshallah to make sure we're not here to judge. Wallahi, I never, I don't think I'm better than you. Wallahi, you might be better than me in Allah's eyes 100 times. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you firm, inshallah. And yeah, may Allah bless you for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, Assalam Kona, our aim here is to dialogue. We're here to dialogue with our youngsters. We're not here to judge people. We want people to come and open up to us, talk to us. Let's have a heart to heart, inshallah. And we invite anybody around the world, you come to Speaker's Corner, come visit us. Inshallah, Assalam Corner. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, sister. May Allah bless you. If you need anything, we're here. Take care.